Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to make these inexpensive three-point edge gluing clamps. Hello my friends. Here's a set of clamps that I made uh, mainly for gluing up uh, wood strips on my kayak, but it can be used to uh, do edge grain gluing or end grain not end grain, edging, and it gives you a, a gluing pressure that puts in, pushes in one direction. So this would be like gluing a finished cap on a piece. It could be plywood or whatever. But with my kayak, I'm using strips that have a coven bead. And each time you glue one of these strips on, you need to apply pressure. And typically what people are using when they're building kayaks is um, masking tape. They'll usually use the blue masking tape and pull glue on or tape on both sides and apply pressure. Well, the problem is the tape has, uh, uh, won't apply a continuous pressure. With this, you can apply pressure, clamp it, and that's continuously holding until this will dry. And you can go down the entire kayak with this. And you can see here I'm using the uh, a bungee strap, bungee cord, and you can either buy it in a long uh, roll. I buy it in 10 foot lengths or you can just take a bungee strap and cut the ends off. And on this one I remove the uh, uh, material and so that if there's any glue it won't be sticking onto it. But because the bungee has these fibers um, I like ha leaving the material on and uh, holds them together. And it seems to have a little higher pressure by doing that that way also. Well, let me show you how I put it together. This spring clamp you can acquire at uh, Harbor Freight for about 99 cents when they're on sale. And what I'm using, I have a lot of this quarter inch bungee cord um, left over from building my kayak. And uh, you can just use a regular bungee cord, cut the ends off. And I'm going to drill through this, but so as not to compromise its strength, I'm going to put my hole through slightly off center through this area so I'm not drilling through the thicker part. And what I typically do is like to step drill just to make it more accurate. Staying on the staying on the same side, drawing on the same side. I'm needing a tapered wedge, so I'm sharpening a point on both ends of a stick that I cut. You can use a skewer stick or a chopstick and do the same thing. Cutting the end of this dowel rod off, or stick that I sharpen, just like that. Next you want to open the rubber fibers that's in here and take a screwdriver in the middle push it down about a half inch to spread that open take one of these little 
wedges. Push it in. I have it about a quarter inch in. Then I'm using the CA glue, which is uh, same as super glue. And anytime I use this, I wear glasses. I don't want it in my eyes. And then I use this instant set. This is an accelerant. And one mist. And it's done. It's that's glued right there. It's just about instant. Then we can trim the excess off right there. That's permanently fixed. We can also hit a drop in here. This will saturate the cloth on the bungee. Then a mist. Hard as a rock there. Okay, you want about this much of a loop in there. Then we want to do the same thing. We're going to cut this off, then pull it out and work on it. And repeat. wedges hands are too big Drop a glue on there. Sets right away. And do the same thing on this side. And that's done. There you have it. And this can be trimmed off again. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.